I was going to say, we see a lot of gators <laughs> in the pool. We also were just talking about the, the bear in the beach in North Dusting. Florida. Man, our animals are trying to cool off. It has been hot outside. Katie. Exactly. They're just trying to cool down. And when you're talking about triple digit heat index values, you can't really blame them, right? So take a look at some of these numbers right now on your screen. It is definitely feeling quite toasty out there, even at this hour at 612. Still feeling more like 101 degrees in Arcadia, Palmdale and LaBelle, even though more Haven and Clewiston have been cooled down by some showers and storms, still feeling more like the mid to upper 90s. Right now, Golden Gate, still that heat index of 103. Now let's take a live, lo live look at a beautiful body of water that you might want to be cooling down in. Pine Island Sound, as seen from Tarpon Lodge on Pine Island. Again, where those heat indices are right around 100 degrees, but whether they're nice and quiet. The only shower that we do have here in Lee County, right along Veterans, crossing over the Midpoint Bridge, but not seeing any lightning strikes with this little cell, just producing some light to moderate rain as it works its way up the Kalu Sahatchee. Farther inland now into Collier County, Harker, get ready. This thunderstorm is making its way your direction, taking 29 basically up toward the north and east. And then farther inland, Glades and Hendry, those have really been our focal points this afternoon. But great news, this thunderstorm, we've been waiting for it to die out just to the south of Palmdale, definitely showing those signs. I expect it to be completely done here within the next half hour or so, extending back toward Moorhaven, Whitting Corner. You are almost in the clear. Likewise, that big storm that was over Buckhead Ridge has now subsided. Down into Hendry County now just to the south of Montura. That storm will continue to work its way eastward, but Montura does not look like it's going to be affecting you. Downtown Fort Myers, just some nice fair weather cumulus clouds out there. Really not enough cloud cover to cool us down. We're at 88 degrees, but again, you look at that humidity, the dew point. It is soupy air right now in the mid 70s, so that's causing it to feel more like 99 degrees even at this hour. Heading into this evening, conditions are going to stay nice and quiet. Whatever we have on radar by 8 o'clock, long gone. Overnight tonight, mostly clear skies are forecast. We'll kick off tomorrow morning. Could see an isolated sprinkle right here closer toward the coast. But once those winds pick up out of the west and southwest, that will help to kick most of the energy farther inland. So once again for tomorrow, we'll call for isolated inland storms, primarily after 2 p.m. Heading into the afternoon, notice right here around 3 o'clock. Most afternoon and evening drives will be just fine. You have beach plans. Picture perfect. Just remember that UV index will be extreme. Again, the best chance for those developing showers and storms really focused on Hendry into Glades as we look ahead to your Wednesday afternoon and evening. Now let's check on Thursday. Thursday will start off lots of sunshine, but at this point, those showers and storms on Thursday few and far between. Again, the best probability staying farther inland while Charlotte County, Lee County, Collier stays nice and quiet. So the farther inland you are, the closer you are to Lake Okachee for the next couple of days. That's where we'll have the best chance of seeing any development. Great news, the tropics. Everything is nice and quiet. No formation in my forecast through the next seven days. Exactly what we like to see. For tonight, mostly clear skies forecast as we drop down to 79 degrees. Afternoon temperatures pushing up to 94, but factor in that humidity, this is what it's going to feel like. More like 104 in LaBelle, more like 105 degrees for Lehigh Acres as well as Immokalee. So as you send those kids off to camp, perhaps just make sure everybody has that extra bottle of ice water. Those triple digit heat index values will be a concern even as we head into the weekend. Showers and storms pretty isolated and mainly inland even as we go through that seven day forecast.